Welcome to Switch It Up. That's my dramatic entrance to something unique and dramatic today. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. We are on our way to the Colorado Huddle and on our way to Colorado Huddle, we are stopping by to see a friend of ours. Yes, and as you can see, this is an, a nondescript place. It's like a secret and there's two warehouses and we're at one of the warehouses so this thought i thought this would be a really good educational thing for everyone to see well i have a question yes yeah, she's got lots of it's questions hot. and the these sun is hot so good questions too yeah so we've I'm, been debating this in the car yes, i've been having the conversation it's warm out is it possible is it possible to run an air conditioner off grid Ooh. all right we're gonna jump in here we're gonna see who's behind the door and we'll answer all the questions. So we're gonna roll the intro and jump right into it. Does that sound like a plan? Sound like a plan. So should we roll it? Just. Just roll the intro. <laughs> As you can see, we have made it to Enduro and this amazing setup. How could we not shoot a video? Like we came in to talk to Harrison. I'm like, you've been hiding this like <laughs> for a while. This is the, like, this is the most official we've ever had is like a video shoot. Maybe somewhere. he knew if he told you, you would show up. Well, no, we're, <laughs> we're, we're actually heading to the huddle. Yes, we're on the way to the huddle so to that we stop by. Yeah, and we wanted to just pick his brain on some possible upgrades and all that fun stuff. And then you guys had questions that we were answering through other videos that we've done. So it's great to be back in Thanks. your company. Appreciate it. So if you've seen him around, this is Harrison. This is Enduro Power Batteries. And he is going to answer all your questions. I need like a coffee mug. I, I, I feel like I'm on like a, a talk show set. Actually, I have a question. Yes. Okay. All right. Well. You have kids, right? I do. Right? Seven and five. Seven and five. So I feel like this, like you helped us tremendously. Like my goal last year was to be able to go out and travel and then yet fly home and see our grandkids. Like, right. And you were able to help us figure out what system we needed in order to be able to do that. And I really appreciate it because we were able to go home, see the grandbabies, and it meant a lot to me. But you know that book, like if you give a mouse a cookie, like he's gonna ask <laughs> he for, for this. Or he needs more snacks. Yeah. yeah. I love snacks. I feel like that's kind of what you just teased me with, okay, my refrigerator's running and now I can leave. But there's other things that I'm like, oh, maybe if we had just something else, we could run a little bit more. Like he, we, I could run the microwave. Or, or a flat iron. I could blow dry my hair and you make coffee. Yeah. At I the mean, same time. Like little things like that. I'm like, okay, what? are my options. Yep, excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think, uh, you know, just to kind of cover that, last year, starting with uh, wow. this Magnum Dimensions 2001 inverter, which That's is what we still have, came stock in okay. your RV. Okay. And that runs your refrigerator and certain outlets. So okay. it allows you to do certain things. Um, but as you consider doing more things, like as far as all the way to running, well, multiple devices like coffee pot, hair dryer at the right. same time, but then all the way to the ultimate of like, can I run an air conditioner? Um, you, yeah, because it is summer. It's hot. And it's hot. And some people have said, hey, can we run an AC if we get more batteries? And it's it's a bigger question know. than that. And, and the question is, yes, um, you know, you can have a smaller battery bank and still run an AC with the right equipment. Um, but generally, if you want to run an air conditioner for a sizable amount of time, you are going to get into in a bigger battery bank. Okay. Um, that's that's the first thing. And the other thing is you're going to upgrade equipment. So, for example, you have this 2000 watt inverter um, that's wired to one or two outlets. It's not wired to air conditioning and it's not designed to do that. So we okay. want to upgrade into something more robust. Uh, we have two units here. Uh, the Victron Energy Multi Plus. A lot of people seen the. We seen the blue everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Um, blue. This is actually a, the Multi Plus 3000 is actually a 2400 watt inverter is what it actually is. That's surprising. Yeah, okay. and then Go Power. Uh, this unit that we have here on the table is the IC 2000, which is a 2000 watt inverter. But they have an IC 3000, so they have a 3000 watt uh, model. But what both of these do 
is they take your um, incoming shore power, runs through here, and then goes to your breaker panel. So everything in your breaker panel is energized to be able to run. So no longer do you have just one just, circuit. Yeah. Everything that's AC powered could be utilized. To my understanding is, is that when it comes into the breaker panel on an RV, is it splits and it goes into two different banks, right? So on a 50 saying, amp service. On a 50 amp yeah. service. And on a 30 amp service, it goes into just one, Just right? one. Correct. So if we had something like this, this would still go in and go into both. And it's it just going to use your power consumption depending on what she's running flat iron. I'm trying to run the microwave. We're, we might be over the 2400 watts. It's yeah. still not going to power it, correct? Correct. So in, in a larger system like that, in yours, you probably have two of these. So you have 24 plus 24, you have 40. So that's watts. why I see a lot of times two of these in somebody's right. mounted. Yeah. But you don't necessarily need to. It just comes down to if she's going to flat iron her hair, I just wait to make my coffee. Correct. Right? Yep. Now, this also comes into play depending on your AC. Um, you can't just run the AC and then think she's going to go in a flat iron her hair too. Not on just 2400 right. watts because AC is about 1500 watts, flat iron is about 14 to 1500 watts. So you need a close to 3000 watts to run two high load devices at the right. same time. Okay. Um, so in that case you need at least 3000 watts or more. So like if you were going to go with a go power unit, you would do the IC 3000. Um, that would power everything and allow you to do two things at the same time, two high load things okay. at the same time. But what I'm understanding is these also charge our batteries then at this as Cor well? Correct, yes. So stock uh, RV, well in your case you had an inverter, not yeah. all RVs have inverters, but you had an inverter and then you had another charger which we call the converter. And we had to change that because we went to lithium. To lithium when we did your other upgrade. So those two units combine into one okay. in, in okay. either of these units. All so right. they're the inverter and the charger at the same time. Okay. The nice thing about that too is the chargers in these are almost double the speed. Generally your converter I think is 50, 60 amps right now speed. Uh, this is 120 and the go power is between like 100 and 120 amp speed. So what that's, what's the advantage of that is if you're an off-grid camper and you need to run a generator to recharge, if you have a faster charge speed, right. you have less generator runtime. Oh, it's a big deal. Yeah. That is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I know, but I didn't ever think of that. Yeah. And the other advantage there too, pairing that with lithium batteries right. versus a lead acid battery is then a lithium battery can take that charge at that full rate. If they're 99% 99 99 efficient in their charge and discharge rate, so if you're putting 120 amps at it, most of that energy is going into the battery. If you have a lead acid AGM battery, you're only going to get about, you know, you're still going to have to run it double the time because those batteries won't take the okay. charge as efficiently. See, like, I feel like I'm learning something here. So, question, we do a lot more boondocking off-grid um, when we're on the west side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what would, if I wanted to be able to run one AC, what would I need to be able to do? Okay. Or what would I need to do in order to be able to do and that? How long capacity yeah. wise? Yeah. yeah, is that even re a realistic goal? So a minimum recommendation, just keeping with the two brands we have here on the table, there are other brands, uh, Magnum Energy has an inverter charger as well. Uh, the Victron Multi Plus 2 uh, is a 2400 watt inverter. Um, that would be the bare minimum. Okay. Um, if you wanted to go with a Go Power unit, I would tell you to get the IC3000, just go with their 3000 unit, to, you know, for $100 more you get Double the power. Um, so you get one of these inverter chargers. Okay. Um, and then from a battery bank standpoint, I would say the minimum, if your goal is to be able to turn an air, co air conditioner on and run it for, you know, half hour, hour and a half, maybe up to two hours to kind of cool things cool down things on a really down. hot day, um, your minimum battery bank size is going to be a 12 volt, 600 amp hours. Okay. Um, can you do it on 400? Yes, you can. But I'll just give you guys the quick math. Um, when you run a 15K BTU air conditioner, it's about 1500 watts per hour, okay. or roughly between 130 to 150 amp hours per hour. Okay. So if you take a 600 amp hour battery bank and you run your air conditioner for two hours, that's 150, 150, that's 300, that's 50% of your battery bank is utilized in those two hours running your air conditioner. And so you have the system, you have the inverter, you have the 600 amp hours, you run your air conditioner for two hours, and you're able to do it, um, you just need to figure out like, okay, well, do I have enough solar to recharge? Yeah, how am I going to recharge? Am I going to, yeah. do I have, now am I investing in solar to recharge? Um, or am I going to run a generator to recharge? 
Okay. And where I'd say with that is, if you're going to run a generator to recharge, why not, why not just run your generator right. with your air conditioner? <laughs> right. You know. Right. So um, you kind of balance it out. Um, in solar, solar relatively is inexpensive. Right. Um, but another quick um, fact for you guys out there is, what amount of solar does it take to offset the consumption of one air conditioner? So and like it, right now we have 1,100 watts of solar. Correct. Yeah, I don't know if that's good, bad, indifferent, in the middle. It's in the middle. Okay. So if you were here, like we're in the west, uh, it's, we're between May and October, so we're kind of the summer months, the, the sun's high in the sky. Right. Um, during the day, you can rely on the solar, good solar production. It takes about 2,000 to 2,400 watts of solar panels on your roof okay. to produce enough energy to offset one 15 kV to air conditioner. So during the day, if you had that much solar in your roof, you could basically offset. You have your 600 amp hours sitting here, right? And you basically aren't really using it because it's running completely off it's, solar. Yeah, I mean okay. it's running through the batteries, but right. it's basically offsetting it. You're not having a, a net loss at all. Your 1100 watts that you have currently is about half of okay. 2200. So um, you're basically going to offset going back to the 150 amps. Per hour to run your air conditioner. Now you're only going to lose 7,500 or 75 amps okay. per hour because you have 1,100 to offset. So now you could run your air conditioner for four hours before you get down to 50 percent. And an average solar panel is about 200 watts, right? Is generally yeah, two, I would say they're 200, 220 uh, for the standard. Okay. You can get residential panels so that are now 380. Basically, you're talking about. You're, you're talking about 10 solar panels. Yeah. So you have to have enough room to have 10 solar panels on whatever your RV is that's correct. to do this. That's correct. And so yeah, that is correct. And that's, again, what your goals are if you're trying to fully run an air conditioner. What I would say is running an air conditioner off of solar and batteries, just saying, hey, I'm gonna do that, didn't ever wanna run a, never wanna run a generator, it's pretty much not possible for 99.8% of the people out there. Okay. okay. It is a great solution for, hey, I want to run it for a half hour, two hours. Right. Um, you it's know, not a solution if you have pets and you're sitting there worrying that you're on a hike and that right. if the pets are going to be cooled off to depend on solar. It's yeah. one of the things that a lot of pet owners, you're probably going to be running a generator in that scenario. Yeah, yeah. it'd be my recommendation. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, anything's possible. And then you can obviously, we just were talking about 600 amp hours. Yeah. As you add more capacity, you're just basically adding runtime to your system. Okay, okay. So you could go from 600 to 1200 to 18 to 2400 that we're talking about for your system, and it just means that you could run all day. Yeah, yeah. But you know, when you get back, you know, you know, you might be running your generator for the next six hours to recharge. So that comes into batteries. So batteries. Let me get this out of the way. Thanks. So enduro, the reason we ended up is space. So we have um, 200 and then you have 300. They're not that heavy. I'm just weak in comparison to like a lead battery. So they're just old. Oh shush. <laughs> so we have 200, two 200 amp hour batteries what when you we can, have? yeah, okay. currently. And this one right here sitting here says 24 volt 100. So we'd also have 24 volt uh, batteries in our line for people that are building larger 24 volt systems. But this is the exact same size that's in our as system. the 12 volt 200 that's in your system. Yeah, okay. and so look how small that is. And so we have two of them that are sitting next to each other. It's stinking fabulous. But if you had, like he was saying, if you needed 600 amp hours, you'd need three of these. Three of these, yep. Or you'd need two of these. Two of these, yep. And two of these is, uh, I don't, do you know the dimensions off the top of your head? Uh, yeah, this one's uh, 19 inches in length by 10 and a half in width. Okay. And then uh, eight and a half tall. Okay, and then that one, do you know that one? Uh, yep, yeah, this one's eight, 18 inches in length, six and a half in width, uh -huh. and then uh, nine and a half in height. Okay. So that helps out whoever is sitting here thinking, it's like, well, what do I want to do type scenario. This is the reason we ended up is because when I was researching batteries, I found Enduro kind of by accident. And I was like, well, if it's smaller, it could do this. And then we could always add to the system. Question I have is, is like if a person had, like I have 400 
amp hours and I wanted to add a 300, can, you, can I add a 300? Because some people always say, how do you add things to your system if I already have this? So once you've chosen your building block, so if you start with a 12 300, yeah. you cannot add a 12 200 or 12 100 to it. You need, this is now your building block. See, this is, so the, 12, I did not know this. 12 300 and build on Okay, then the so next. So then we have, to stay with, we have to stay with that size for. Correct, yeah. Okay. If we're going to add two. Okay. Yep. Now, people are watching go, well, I have this other brand that they have already purchased. Yep. And I know that the components inside, there's all different components depending on the brand and how they're regulating and Correct. modulating power. Controlling the battery. Yeah, and so can brands be interlinked? And I yeah. would assume no. It's a great question, and we do get those calls every so often. As you said, it's usually, hey, I've invested in X amount of batteries yeah. uh, a year ago from another brand, can I add yours? And the answer is no. Electrically, it will work. You can hook it up, they're going to work. Uh, but as you said, uh, our BMS battery management system is slightly programmed different than, than you know, say another, another one. And so yeah. far down down the road. And so, so this is just not for Enduro. We're talking like if you had this brand A and you went with this other brand B, it's the same thing because they all have different yeah. internal components for regulating. Exactly. Okay. And so basically, what I say in that in that case, like if somebody has 300 amp hours and they're trying to go to 400 amp hours, but hey. You know, wish we could have done business with you, but hey, the brand you have is going to work great for you. Go out and buy another one of those. Okay. Um, that's what you do. Now, if you have 200 amp hours and you're trying to go to 800 or 1,000 amp hours, I would say, you know, your best case there is to just get rid of the current batteries. There's, you know, there's obviously an aftermarket for those. Get the money that you can out of those and then go invest in your 800, 1,000 amp hours mm. in the Enduro power line. Now, as far as like, Harrison, you sell batteries. Mm -hmm. You do not sell all of this other stuff. We correct? don't sell all the inverters and chargers. Yes. Um, very just, knowledgeable in all the equipment. Yeah. We'll be able to help you. Uh, and I wanted to be specific on that because if they're looking, it's like, well, we could choose this one, this one, this one. No, he, he specialized, stays in his lane, but you have to understand but he knows all that, of yeah, it. Yeah, he has to know how it all works. Yeah, we, uh, you know, we're really focused on, you know, our battery lines. So we have 12 volt, we have 24 volt, we have 36 volt batteries, our fishing community, we have 48 volt batteries for our golf carts. Um, so we're really investing in, I think we have 20 batteries in our whole line. Uh, we're investing in the solutions, the battery solutions. So instead of just giving you one building block, one 12, 100 and say, hey, you can do everything with this, right. buy our product and then sell this other equipment, we're saying, hey, we're going to get you the right battery solution. And so that's where we invest our time and our money. Um, but yeah, if you call in and you're trying to figure out, you know, how to design a system, like your question about, hey, right. I want to run an air conditioner, how to do it. We're very knowledgeable in how, how to do that. We have great partners we can refer you to for yeah, any of the product that we don't, uh, you know, stock or sell. Okay. Any other questions? These are good. This was like really good. Like, this was like this off the by? cuff. Did, they didn't see the studio. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we came by really, I mean, we've just built a great relationship with you. We trust you. Um, we know that you've just been fabulous to work with. Your customer service, small company, still get to talk to the owner of the company, and he's got a team that is just willing to help people yeah. out. So we just wanted to stop by and say hi to our friend. And if you like this kind of content, I don't think we'll ever have another wonderful studio like this for the Switch It Up brand. <laughs> But if you like it, like, comment, subscribe, maybe leave a question or a comment down below like we could, you know, send to Harrison or if you want to call him, we'll put the contact info in the description down below. And are you giving them a disc? Is there like a discount or something for these guys? Yeah. Let me pimp this out for you guys. I'm trying to help. Is there anything? Is there anything you could give them? Yes, we got your, um, uh, the switch it up. Oh, well, there you go. Right. See, look at that. We even got you something. That's 5%. Right? That's 5%. Is so, it? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. We'll put the whole thing in there. You like that? Put them on the spot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thanks for, you yeah, know, let's stop by. hanging we with us it. and stuff. And it, like I said, leave a comment down below if you have a question, or you can always give them a shout. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it on our end, right? Did you enjoy that? Did you learn anything? I learned something. Uh huh. I learned what an inverter does. That was very yeah. helpful. <laughs> and she learned she's not going to just run an air conditioner all no. day, every day. And I learned that since we're already in here and I got my hands on a 300 amp hour battery, I'm just going to take this with me. <laughs> I guess we're out. <laughs>